In this video, we're talking about micro tech or hoop. In this, <laughs> in this video, we're talking about hoop tech micro clamps. There's a lot of things that make the EMT 16X unique. Active feed allows for auto tensioning, which is really convenient. Our thread tree, it's up front, so it's really easy to access. The EMT 16X, it fits through a doorway. If you haven't seen the Instagram reel I made on it, give it a look, it's pretty funny. As you know, EMT 16X allows for true modularity. You can have one machine or 30 machines all set to the same system. So you can run one job, 30 jobs, or anywhere in between. That's cool. We have a single presser foot, makes for easy adjustments. In DSV11, we have true hoop dimensions, so you know exactly how big your embroidery area is. You don't have to guess. The EMT 16X hooks up to a PC, so all updates are very easily done. And what we're talking about today is the Hoop Tech micro clamps. And because we have a smaller lower arm, we can get these micro clamps on there and we can get into tight spaces like this pocket, which I'm gonna show you how to embroider right now. So these micro clamps from Hoop Tech, there's three different sizes. We have small, medium, and large, and you need the gauge too. So the gauge is easy to put your clamp on and set your backing and hoop your piece. A variety of sizes so you can get in big pockets, small pockets, small sleeves, a number of places these clamps really allow to get into. And because we have that small lower arm, it's not a problem. Let me show you how to hoop it. Hey, so if you're liking this content, by the way, do me a favor and like and subscribe. So we're using the largest of the three micro clamps and we put it on, we easily can set it on our gauge. When you set it on, it locks right in place. We spin this little clamp and that opens up, gives us a little room to slide in our cap tear away backing here. I wanna make sure it's all the way back. And then with our pocket, we can slide that, we can slide that into the clamp. So we don't wanna to go too, too deep into the clamp, but we wanna make sure it's square on either side. So I'm gonna just kinda of square it up hold it in place, and then tighten our clamp. We want to make sure that our tensioner is off to the right or to the left. We don't want it out in the middle or towards the back. Slide it off, that thing's ready to go. So first thing we want to do is make sure that our backing is open so it fits under through the lower arm. We have our cap driver on. All we have to do now is clamp the micro clamp in to the driver. That's in there. Now, let's trace the design. The position looks great. We're below this seam and above the top of the garment. So remember when I was talking about earlier how we can actually show the sew field, which is unique to Melco? If we go in here to customize hoop list, under the hoop tech, when we get into clamps, we have the red micro clamp, and these are the three clamps that we used. So when we add them, now they're in our list, and we can apply it. All right, well, let's embroider the Melco logo on this pocket. Getting the clamp off is just about as easy as getting it on. Just unscrew it, pull out your garment. Towards the stitches. Cool, right? Nervous. I decided to do one more on the sleeve of a long sleeve shirt. I used the medium clamp this time. It was just as easy as the pocket. Well, that turned out really well, just like I expected. I'm just gonna the clamp and with the backing when you remove it a little Mikey D trick always pull away from the embroidery at a bit of an angle that keeps it just from pulling up or whatever well, it looks really good we'll do a little snip snip here a little snippy snip looks perfect so thanks for watching that's how you use these micro clamps from Hoop Tech remember the cool thing about these 
And on the EMT 16X, is our lower arm is thin, it's small, and you can slide this thing in there and do a lot of those really tight spaces, pockets, small sleeves, stuff like that. Thanks for watching. You can buy all these on shopmelco.com. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.